Hi, and welcome to the Wellness and Longevity Series here at Shape Up Health Club in Corona Del Mar, California. I'm your host, Christy Matola Burns, and with me today I have Robert Burns, CEO, founder, and co-owner of Shape Up Health Club. Robert, how are you doing? I am doing great. Thank you. Well, today we have an exciting topic. There's been a lot of talk about genetic testing, or what some people call DNA testing, and body hacking, which all is part of what's under the umbrella of longevity. So today, Robert will be explaining to us what that's about, what we're doing here at Shape Up, and some of the current trends. And it's not body hacking, it's biohacking. <laughs> so how would I use that information? I, I take a test. Is it saliva, blood? Does it depend on who's doing the test? All of them are a saliva test, at least the ones that are being done. The more popular the ones. The more popular ones. So it's a simple test. You spit into a tube, you send it off, and weeks later, it comes back with your raw genetic data. And some of them, like 23andMe, they'll give you a lot of information about this and that or Ancestry.com about your, your family members and so forth. But they all have the raw data. And it's the raw data that we run through a very specialized program. And it will come up with a variety of reports. Right now, we can do 24 reports, individual reports that are about your individual genetic expressions. So we can do it on cholesterol. We can do it on the COMPT gene. We can do it on your personality, on your gut health, how your body um, utilizes vitamins, how your body utilizes minerals. And what we're finding is that everything is personalized. Even the pharmaceutical things that you take should be genetically tested to you, to how well they work with you, or your vitamins. I'll give an example. There is a percentage of the population that has a defect in one of the genes. It's called the Mather gene. And I have two SNPs that are very bad in the Mather gene. And all that simply means is I cannot utilize folic acid. Where folic acid for many people is good, folic acid for me is the opposite of good. It's really bad. It was deadly for you. It you found deadly. that out. Yeah. Tell that little story how that happened because genetic testing today is pennies on the dollar compared to the type of testing that was done when he found this out about himself. So how'd that come about? Yeah, well, at uh, the Susan Samuel Center for Integrative Medicine, Dr. Malik uh, was looking at my blood work. Um, I was kind of bragging because my blood work was so good. And, uh, <laughs> and I was feeling really good. I was 62. And uh, she noticed that I didn't have a homocysteine test. And she knew that I was very big into checking homocysteine. She asked, and I just said, it's always been so good. I just decided not to spend the extra money. And she, she says, you know, I really think you should do it. And uh, had me come in and run the homocysteine. And it was unbelievably high, actually deadly high. But she didn't know why it was high. But it was deadly because she said if you don't change whatever you had to change, that you had X amount of time. I had a couple of years at best. And uh, the, first, the first symptom would have just been death. It would have been a massive type of a heart attack. And, but she didn't know why, so she had me do a genetic test, the Genova test, and I had to pay something like $3,500 for this test, which I didn't really want to spend, but she said I really, that we need to find out why. And the answer came back very simply. I had a defective Mather gene. I had to stop taking folic acid, which, by the way, I was taking a lot of because I was using that to control homocysteine. That's what most people would do. My body didn't work that way. I have to take a different form of folate. As soon as I did that, got rid of it, a year later, my homocysteine levels are back down into the normal ranges. Now, so the testing that you do here at Shape Up would have detected that for you? Well, that's why I got so involved. I, I've been following genetics now since the 1990s. I've been following epigenetics since the year 2000. I've been fascinated by what science is learning about it and how it's going to influence society like the type of vitamins I take or the type of food I do or I don't eat or the type of exercise I do. All is determined by the type of genes that you have. So when I heard about this type of gene testing, I did my own just as an individual because I wanted to see if it came up with, number one, did it detect that Mather gene and what right. other things. And it was the, on the very first introductory page of these 22 uh, reports at that time, it flagged that you have two SNPs defective Why in your Mather gene. Why would someone want to have a genetic test? There's, there's Ancestry.com, there's 
23 and Me, and there's a, actually newer testing, and I know that you've got the one that is now the latest and the greatest. Why, why genetic testing? How does that help a person? We have this incredible body. But we don't have a blueprint for it. We don't even have a little manual that says, these are the things that are individual to you, unique to you. And with this new ability, we are able to get a great insight into how our body operates. Your Mather gene, exactly what that Genova test uh, showed. And this test cost me at that time $99. So for $99, <laughs> I was able to find th this same thing. That's how quickly we have been expanding our right. knowledge on genetic testing. Well, I think a lot of people at this point, I don't know what percentage of the population, there's people that do the Ancestry.com because predominantly because they want to find out what their ancestral history is and relatives and what they think their family predispositions are. So I kind of started that way and then 23andMe came along and a lot more people have gotten into it. Now you talked about the raw data. If somebody came into the club, and I, I should say a lot of people be, or have been taking this expanded program that you offer here at Shape Up that is sort of a baseline that helps you f from a fitness, health and fitness standpoint, well, and they come in and you ask them, have you had a genetic test done? Right. So if you have had a genetic test, Ancestry.com, 23andMe, and a few of the others, um, it's it's good enough to be able to give tremendous amounts of, of data and you already have it. If you don't have it, there's a, a, a I feel the, one of the very best called Self to Code. Oh. And it's only $79, so it's very inexpensive. And you can run that test and it creates the same raw data. The difference is that it has more SNP. It, it analyzes more genes. Is but 700,000 or something like that? It's now up to 800,000. Um, versus? Versus uh, Ancestry.com is probably about 450. But 450,000 unique SNPs is giving us a, way more data than we had even five years ago. With a, the with a Genova test, I couldn't get that much data unless I spent a tremendous amount of money. And every year, um, the, the science of it is advancing. We're collecting more knowledge. Now, your, your genetic test doesn't change. Right. The expression of your genes change. That's the epigenetic. We can influence and control the expression of our genes to a tremendous level. As an example, when we exercise regularly, we are helping our genes. We're gene hacking our genes to express themselves better because of exercise, or when we um, avoid sugars, um, or if we eat sugars, we teach our body to express itself more towards going into diabetes. Exactly. If so, somebody came in and they just had a horrific body and a lot of it was due to eating the wrong things like sugars and such, if you test, if they had their test done in the beginning and then they changed their diet, if they repeated the test, you would see different results? No. You would not see no. different results? because we're not able on this type of testing to, to see the epigenetic. Now, there's a way for us to do that. The genetic part's the same, and uh, the self-decode is a genetic test. It's looking at the way that your genes are uniquely put together. One little test. Now, well, these are really? sort of a baseline test that... I understand you do for the clients because when they, especially now with COVID, I hate to bring up that, I call it CV-19. I like that word better. It doesn't have as much energy on it. But with the concerns people have had and some of the people that have come back into the club on a regular basis as opposed to what was going on before, are asking, what do I do? How do I start? And it's been a wonderful program that I've witnessed whereby you're able to get the baseline from a genetic standpoint for people that haven't had it done or people that have had one of those other tests like the Ancestry.com or 23andMe because the raw data is the same it just gets filtered now through this more expanded program gives more information. Right now we're having a lot of people that are feeling what an effect it's been like for six months not to exercise.
you know, where maybe they exercised on a more regular basis, they ate better, but with all the stress going on, they're experiencing the stress, the lack of activity, the lack of social connection, that's another form of stress. They're not eating as healthy as they were, they're drinking more. Maybe they're not even taking the vitamins or some of the things that they were doing on, as much on a regular basis. Right. So when I'm sitting down with them and I do the genetic test, now I can see that there's Why do some things, things work on certain people and not other mm -hmm. people? And, you know, somebody can rave about some new product or something that they're doing and you try it and it doesn't work. Well, I never, it just never occurred to me that it could be down to your DNA, whether it's the kind of food you're eating or whether it's, you know, any kind of product or energy drink or anything because your body is affected differently, but you can actually see it in your information. So from what I've heard you say today, People, if they're uh, dealing with a particular problem or an area they want to know about, because there are so many reports, there could be the general report, right, that you do, and then drill down to certain we go into areas. Thyroid, we go into the gut, we can go into the comp gene, we can go into the Mather gene, we can, we can, it's, it, there's a lot there. It does do an introductory one, which gives me a quick profile of all the things that might be the most important for this individual to look at. What I do is, if someone were interested, uh, I have you come in and we do an in-body test so I get the, the, the baseline of how much muscle and fat and, Ratio, and water yeah. and all that. So at least we know where they started at. Um, if they have a 23andMe or Ancestry.com, I ask them to give it and in a couple of days I can pull that report well, out. And with your background, yeah. of course, they're not going to be able to interpret certain things the same way you would interpret it with all the years of experience you've had in the health and fitness and area. What I, what I do is point out as a health coach these things to make sure your cardiologist knows about this. They may not know that you have this particular gene and it doesn't uh, utilize, you know, a certain drug very well or it doesn't utilize certain vitamins very well like for me you know folic acid uh, that would be important for my doctor to know that thing uh, it, it's it this is not a prescription of what to do this is the very the potentials of what you should be looking your at blood so your yeah. doctor can then run your cholesterol test or your homocysteine test and make sure that you're taking it down or it's into the healthy ranges. Or if it was your thyroid test, to, to see that your thyroid hormones are in balance, uh, that type of a thing. So um, it's a very simple thing to do. If you do not have uh, a 23andMe or an Ancestry.com, you can get the test of uh, the self to code. You can order it through you though, yeah. right? From there, we can go wherever direction that you want. And build a whole program around it. And from I actually like body hacking, <laughs> <laughs> by the way. Well, I like to say that when people ask you your age, and I recommend this, I've always been a proponent of the ageless body, timeless mind, that you answer that question or not. You always have the choice not to answer that question. Having been in the entertainment industry for many years as I have, you usually don't answer that question or you lie and I don't like that part. But what there is now a test that you can take where you can identify your biological age versus your chronological age, and that is more accurate. I mean, if somebody wants to be healthier and more vital, you have everything that is currently available right here in this country, and you've got the knowledge, you've got the, you've got the products, you've got the lifestyle. You're and you've got shape up and if you so want to crack the code on your body. Show up at Shape Up. There will be a lot of information on our website, www.shapeup. Well, it's shape-up.com. We're right here in Corona Del Mar. We can do a free introductory evaluation just right off the gate. We have certain packages that are available to you that make it more comprehensive and more of a VIP type of an approach to your body and your health. So stay with us. There'll be a, a lot more seminars in our series, in the Longevity and Wellness series here at Shape Up Health Club. Thank you for watching. And we'll be doing this.